What's up everybody? I got Calvin with me today. We're gonna open this package up. It's a Super Saiyan God head for SH Figure Arts. So we're gonna see what these look like. I got them on AliExpress or AliExpress, however you say it. And they are from Thompson Art Toys. I think it's version three of the head. So we're gonna have Calvin open these up and we'll see how they look. Okay, so they come pretty nicely wrapped, bubble wrapped, and they're in a box. Can you even get that open? Oh yeah, that's not bad. There's tape on there. Get that out the way. Okay, we got Super Saiyan God Vegeta on the front. Thompson Art Toys, Volume 3. Let's see the back of it. Oh, it says recommended for ages 15 and up. So I guess you can't use it, dude. Please use hair dryer or hot water to heat before use. So I guess we'll figure out what that's about. Okay, so there we go. We got what one head with six different faces and it comes with a neck peg. Wow, which one's your favorite do you think? These things look awesome. You like the plain face? I like this one where he's getting smashed in his head. What do you think? I think that's funny. <laughs> All right, let's get these things out of here. You just flip it over and dump them out. They, most of them probably should fall out. And we got a Vegeta here. We're gonna see if we can get the head to fit on that Vegeta. So here is the Super Saiyan God custom compared to the normal superhero movie Vegeta figure. You see the hair is a little bit different, uh, but the quality pretty much looks the same. The face pulls right off of the original SH figure art and then the custom functions the same way. It has pretty much the same design on the inside as the other one. Here's the two of them side by side, so pretty similar. So here is all the different faces we have. This is the actual head with like kind of a standard looking, no expression face. And the rest of the ones are just the face that goes on the head. So that was like a standard one. This one he's kind of gritting his teeth. You like that one? Yeah. I like the original one more better. And then here he kind of looks kind of upset, like he's pissed off. Then we got the yelling face, which looks really awesome. A little bit of a spot on the ear that looks like it could be trimmed off. But other than that, it looks really good. And then he's got that smirk. I like that. Reminds me of the Majin Vegeta before he blew up the whole stadium. And then this is, let me see that. This is my favorite one, him getting punched in the face. You can see the prints from the fingers in his face. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull Vegeta's head off and we'll try to put this one on, see if it fits. Ooh. Now I think we'll have to pop that out maybe or no. Okay, so this is probably what they're talking about. You might have to heat it up. Hold on, bro, what? Yeah, here. <laughs> All right, so we got the head. We're gonna heat up the bottom of it. Got my old heat gun here, and we're just gonna kinda put a little bit of heat on it. As soon as my fingers start getting a little too hot, that's probably when it's good. Okay, so it's pretty warm. And we're just gonna press the peg into the hole. Hopefully it doesn't move too much. There we go. So that was much easier putting a little bit of heat on it. All right, dude, you wanna pick a face and put it on there? Put it on there. Just, it's got two little pegs on the back of his head and you just line them up with these here. Okay. Wow. So the super movie outfit really goes pretty good with the Super Saiyan God head. Should we get another character and line him up and make it look like he's getting punched? Yeah. You're not even a real Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's take the custom head and we'll swap it on to the Super Saiyan Vegeta and see how it looks with this armor. What face do you want to use to put on this body? Uh, 
This looks like it's from the scene when he's looking down at Broly in disgust. Here he is, Super Saiyan God Vegeta with the blue Saiyan armor. It would look a thousand times better with like a dark blue armor or the gray armor, but this will do for now. So here is the faces up close. This is Vegeta kind of looking down and a full view of the head. I like how they use two different types of red in the hair. Here is the screaming face. If you look at the hairline, there's a little bit of a paint mistake, no big deal. Here is the face when he's gritting his teeth together. And if you look behind the ear, there's like a whole section they missed the paint on. Also, no big deal. And this is a face that just kind of lacks expression. It looks like, like before a fight when he's kind of trying to size up his opponent maybe. And there's that big grin that shows up when he's really enjoying the fight and honestly really just thinks he has the upper hand. And you can see that grin is gone. Here he is getting punched in the face. I love this face because you can see all the little finger indentations from where he got hit. And I like how they did the eye all closed from the impact. All right, real quick before we go, I'm gonna show you where I got these from. I'm pretty sure this is the seller we bought from, but there's four different types of heads you can get on here. They're all Vegeta, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, regular Super Saiyan, and base form. And they all come with six different faces, and there is different reviews on here. That's how we knew, like, oh, okay, we'll buy from them. So I always check the reviews, the, the pictures, before I buy from on here, because there's a lot of garbage on this website. But it showed up quick. It was packaged well. Which one do you think we should get next? <laughs> the base form one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be good. Look at him. It's got the face when he's turning into the great ape. His eyes are all red. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. But that is definitely not the price we paid. It was cheaper before. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find the correct link there's a whole bunch of different sellers on here selling the same product so you just want to check the reviews to make sure it's someone that's actually going to send you something good